this video, I am going to explain you a question on priority encoder circuit. Now, this is the question given. Design a 4 input priority encoder with inputs as in priority order like D1 greater than D0 greater than D3 greater than D2. Means here input D1 having highest priority and input D2 having lowest priority. In the last video itself, I explained about the priority encoder circuit with the higher subscript input value have the higher priority than compared to the lower subscript number. In that case, the higher subscript number binary code we are going to write in the output. Now, considering this question here, to simplify this question, we need to write the truth table regarding this 4 input priority encoder. Now, this is the truth table. Here it consists of the input values just like similar to the previous one D0, D1, D2, D3. But here I am going to write the input values as per the priority. For here the lowest priority bit is D2. So, here I consider the D2 value first and the highest priority input is D1. That one is going to consider here. So, the input values are D2, D3, D0, D1 and the outputs just like similar to that priority encoder. X, Y and V is the valid output indicator. If this valid output indicator is going to be 0 means we are not at all applying input values at the input side. If we are applying one or more inputs to the input side, this valid output indicator value is going to be 1 for all the combinations. Now we will consider all the combinations one by one. So here firstly all input values are at 0 means we are not applying any input to the input side. Means output values are going to be don't case and V valid output indicator value is going to be 0. Nothing but we are not applying any inputs. Now considering the first combination that D2 value is going to be 1 and all other inputs are at 0. Means D2 binary code is going to be 1 0 that 1 0 we are going to write in the output side so x equal to 1 y equal to 0 and v is going to be 1 which is indicating 1 input or more than 1 inputs we are applying at the input side now we will consider the other combination here d2 is don't care and D3 is 1, D0 is 0, D1 is 0. And here D2 has the lowest priority. So either it may be 1 or 0, we are going to give priority for D3 compared to D2 value. And at the same time D0 is 0 here, D1 is 0 here. Means we are going to consider the binary code of this D3 value, nothing but binary code here 1, 1. Now considering the other combination, D2 is don't care, D3 is don't care, D0 is 1, D1 is 0. Means here compared to D2, D3, D0 has the highest priority as per the given priority order. So, the D0 binary code is going to be 0, 0 and V value is going to be 1. The last combination D2 is don't care, D3 is don't care, D0 is don't care, D1 value is 1 here. As per the given priority order, D1 has the highest priority if D2, D3, D0 are either 0 or it may be 1, we are going to give the priority for D1 input value. So this D1 input value binary code is going to be 0, 1. Now we to design this 
for input priority encoder we needed to find out the boolean expressions for output x values and output y and v now by using four variable k maps we may find out the boolean expressions now we will find out the boolean expressions for the outputs of x y and v now by considering for this k map d2 d3 variables are row side d0 d1 variables are column side we may find out all these combinations and by assigning all these mean terms in this k map with respect to those mean terms we are assigning ones in that k map now considering x output here for the first combination we may write don't care in this place and here for the x output for 1000 combination it is having 1 so this is going to be the m8 mean term so one can be placed here next the other combination don't care 100 which is going to give two combinations in this manner so for these two mean terms at this place and this place we are assigning one so by combining all these ones and don't cares we may find out the boolean expression x is equal to d0 complement and d1 complement in the similar manner we may find out the y boolean expression also so for the y the outputs are in these in these combinations here for the first combination 0 0 0 it is having i don't care so here we are assigning and the other combination don't care 1 0 0 means for the two combinations we are assigning one at here and here and the last don't care don't care don't care one means which is going to give all these combinations which will give eight mean terms in these eight mean terms places we are assigning one by combining maximum number of ones and don't cares we may find out the boolean expression for output y is equal to d1 or d3 and d1 complement and the output of v boolean expression is going to be similarly in the previous priority encoder circuit i explained we may find out v is equal to d2 or d3 or d0 or d1 so by using these boolean expressions we may find out the logic diagram now by using the boolean expressions of outputs x y and v we may draw the logic diagram in this manner here we are going to use one or two or gates two and gates and two not gates in this logic diagram the inputs are d0 d1 d2 d3 and outputs are x y and v now in this logic diagram we will check one combination we considered in the truth table of this priority encoder circuit so here i considered d2 equal to don't care d3 equal to 1 d0 equal to 0 d1 equal to 1 so in this case we may consider two combinations by placing d2 input value equal to 1 d2 input value equal to 0 so here as per the this question the priority order is mentioned so d2 has highest lowest priority d1 has highest priority so here in this combination we may consider the binary code for this d3 input so the d3 input binary code is going to be 1 1 so we will check as per this logic diagram so when we are applying d2 input equal to 1 here and d3 input equal to 1 here and d0 equal to 0 here d1 equal to 0 here so by 
applying these inputs to this circuit now we may find out the outputs here x equal to so zero here means through this not gate we may find one and here zero here means through this not gate here one and here zero will be applied to this or gate and here through this not gate one here and here one can be given to this and gate so the output of this and gate is going to be one so or gate any one of the input is one means this y output is going to be one and here also x equal to one and v valid output indicator is going to be zero zero one one means here also one so as per this logic diagram also here x equal to one y equal to one v equal to one now by applying this combination also we may get the same binary code of this d3 input one one and v is going to be one now in this manner we may find out any priority encoder if they mention any priority order so by considering that priority we are designing the logic diagram if not mentioning the priority means we have to give the priority for higher subscript input value thank you